Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I want to show you a quick little trick you can do uh, using the new Banks mode that was added in the recent update. So this Banks mode is actually really useful, especially if you're going to be trying to make some you know, devices or instruments yourself. So one of the problems I had before was when I was using things like wavetables, I really wanted to change the actual wavetable and be able to change it from the easy screen, but I couldn't. But now there is a way. So let me show you how you can do that. Or you can do it with any other parameter if you want. So what we're going to do here is we'll just start off here with the saw wave. But let's say we wanted to change this to something else. So I'll just move this in whatever way, like this. So we have our custom shape. Okay, but the good thing about this is I can morph it back and forth between this and saw, but let's say if I wanted to morph it between like two custom shapes, or let, let's say not morph it, I just want to change it. So I have more uh, you know, waveforms to work with. So before I could try modulating all these points and things in here, and that works, but there's actually an easier and better way. So if we right click here, you see this, it says banks. And so we can choose a number of banks. I'm going to choose three, but you can choose a really high number. I don't know, like 256 or something. It's, it's really high. But I'll leave this at bank one. And what I'm going to do is just save it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a different wave here in the custom. So I'll go like this and let's just click this. I already have this here. Okay. Now, I'll right click again and I'm going to choose wave two and save this. And let's just do it one more time like this. Okay. And right click, set this to three. And now I'm going to save it for the last time. So now I have three different banks, but you're probably thinking like, okay, well, how do I move between them? Do I have to right click and switch between them, but you don't. So what we're going to do here is go into just multi-parameter one. We'll add this and let's say in the generator, oscillator one, you see here under oscillator one, it says bank. Just click okay. And now it should let us move between them like that. You see, okay, there's the first, second and third. And the way I usually like to do this is instead of using this normal mode, I like to use the banks mode here. And I just set it at like one, two, and three. And you can name this if you want, like, uh, let's just name it like first, second, and third. Let's tur turn interpolate values off. Make sure this is on one, this is on two, this is on three, and uh, I can do this. Set this to bank name, and I'll name it whatever I want, like bank, or actually I'll name it like wave. And then here we can go into like switcher or selector, etc. And now when we look on the easy screen here, we have like first, second, third. Okay, and we have these different waveforms. So we can switch between them like that. And there's one other thing that when you're using this, you might find like, ah, this isn't so good. So let's say I enable this and I have the voices here. That's great, right? So now I can use unison, but watch when I move it. My unison's off. So one thing I can do is obviously I can go into here and just quick learn voices. That's great. But if, as soon as I move it, it's gone. So what I'm going to do here is actually first, I'll show you a little trick. I'll uh, hit learn here, turn this enable on and off, turn it off. And I'm going to go into here where it says the unison. That's the on and off button. Go to this transform shape and add a point and move it almost to the end. And so what this will do is when it gets down really low, it's just going to turn the unison off. So now I move it up, but when I move it down, watch, it's going to disable itself like that. That's cool, but that still doesn't solve our problem. If I move it to something else like this, ah, it's no good. It disappeared. So what I want to do is go into here and right click it. And here where it says MPEs or MPs to update, I want to insert that MP. So that was actually MP2. If you're not, you can see here, you can just count up like 
M1, M2, M3, 4. But if you look here, it also says multi-parameter 2. So all I'm going to do is go into here and put 2. I like to put MPs on update to root just to make sure it's working. And now close it. And now it should work. So when I move this, let's say it's at around like 12 voices. Now move to the second wave. So it should still be there. And third voice. Everything moves with it. And you could do this with other things. So if I wanted to do uh, detune also, just use a quick learn. Got my detune in there. And that's MP, uh, MP3. So I just hit a comma in here between these and add three. And so now I can do the same thing with the detune too. So you can do that with as many parameters as you want. So that's a really cool thing. Uh, I really like this because it means there's more things I can do with it. And I'll try to show you just maybe two uh, new devices I'm working on that I actually was able to use this. Okay, so I probably showed you this before, but uh, this is just like a wavetable pad, a crystal pad. And before I was just using two wavetables and I could blend between them, but I kind of wanted to switch them up. And now using this Banks mode, I was able to. So I could do like the first wavetable here. Second wavetable. Third. Fourth. Etc. And on, so I have like five wavetables on this side, and the other one I also have five different wavetables. So there's a lots of like different variations I can come up with. So there's all sorts of new sounds. And another one it, that was similar is this. So this one, it just makes different types of like hit sounds. So let me close this up. I'll make this easier to hear by just using the arpeggiator. Let's set this to 16th notes. And so I have different sounds here, and as you move it around, of course, you can get different sounds. I'll play it quickly. Oh, turn the arpeggiator on. And you see here. Here. And of course, I can blend it in like this, any place in between create interesting sounds and that gives me lots of sounds just as it is but if you look here on timbre I actually added other ones too so instead of those sounds I can get completely different sounds or this or this one So now I'm able to get all sorts of sounds. It's not just four. Now I have four times, was it four here? Yeah, so now I have like 16 different sounds that can all be blended together. So for me, this is a really like, cool thing and it makes things, uh, especially designing these devices, much easier. So hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below and check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. Until next time, see you.